Okay guys, so now we're just going to go over um, my fitness pal and setting it up. This is not my preferred way to do this nutrition system, but I appreciate some of you will want more variety of food. Um, you can use this if you're eating out and, and what's on my other lists is not available. Um, so first thing you're going to need to do is go over to my fitness pal. Uh, your app store sorry download the app so click on the app store type in my fitness pal uh, I've already got it downloaded but you just click download and it will download on your phone okay let's get rid of that okay so we'll come out there and it looks something like this on your phone okay so you'll get your login, you'll sign up, it'll ask you a load of questions, just fill everything in as accurately as possible. It will then come up with what it thinks your calorie bracket should be. Um, you need to ignore that, you need to follow what I'm saying. Okay, so you should have worked out your calorie bracket. I think we were looking at 1400 for the 175 example that we were doing so you will click on the more settings the three little dots at the bottom yeah click on there go into nutrition um, I'm going to set it up for tomorrow so if you see that this is set on 1600 I'm going to click on there click on calories Delete 1600 and put 1400 in. Press the little tick. And it's adjusting the calories to 1400. Now, the split that you want for protein, carbs, and fat is 50% protein, 30% carbs, 20% fat. Okay. That will pretty much match what I showed you in the previous videos if you use the other system. So now that that's set up, we go back. Okay, we come to, the, we, we can change the names of the meals. Okay, if we can find it. Yeah, so that was in diary settings, customized meal names. So meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four. I would probably go with um, calling it meal one. Put the time in that you're going to eat it. So 1 p.m. lunch. Call that 5 p.m. The, yours might be different. You just have to fit this around your day. Uh, 8 p.m. Change the page. Um, snack. One. So that will be when you had those protein shakes. Happy with that? Just press the little tick. And that's now set up. So that matches what we had set up um, in the self mastery nutrition detailed version. Okay, so now we're ready to use the food diary. So click on the diary setting at the bottom. Okay, you can see that the goal is 1400 calories now I would like to pre-plan my food for the next day so you can see it says tomorrow at the top okay so you go 1 p.m. add food I'm gonna have the chicken um, 
because that's already in my system. Once you've found your food once, it'll store it in the system. And then I'm going to have some avocado, because remember it's protein and fats. Okay. Um, I'm only going to need three servings. Okay. Next at 5 pm, I might want some more chicken. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And some carbohydrates. Let's go with the rice. Happy with that. I'm not putting vegetables on here because there's hardly any calories uh, in vegetables. Um, 8 pm. I might want some steak, so let's go steak. Search. Generic steak, let's just go with that. 100 grams, but I want two servings. 100 grams isn't enough. Okay. So it's telling me I've gone over my fat amount. We'll leave it as it is for the time being. We can alter it later. And then carbohydrates, I might want some yams or sweet potato. One serving, let's have two. Snacks, I'm going to have the protein shake, one scoop, and then, so I've already hit my protein goal, and then snack two, another protein shake, okay, so, now it's what it's telling us at the top is I've gone over my calorie limit by 415 calories. I need to get that down. So this is why you need to pre-plan the next day. So if we go with, let's adjust the fat slightly. So let's take that down to two servings. Yeah, all good. Take the white rice down. I'm trying to keep the protein as high as possible. Um, I'll adjust that last if I need to. So let's go with half a serving. Yeah. Okay, so still not coming down much. Steak, maybe let's try and make that a bit lean, leaner meat. Delete the steak. So if we delete it. Let's turn it down to one serving rather than delete it. To figure that out later down the line. So I'm only 46 calories over now. So let's have a look what else it's going to take down. Let's have a look at these yams. Take that down to one serving. Good. So I've got 112 calories now. Put the steak up to one and a half servings. So 23. I'm pretty much there. I'm pretty much where I need to be. Okay, so all my food is now planned out for tomorrow. So I just need to go and prep that now. Right, so if we click on the nutrition button, we can see... I'll break down. So just our calories are just over. Um, it's giving us a snacks of seven percent, and then a percentage in in the meals. I'll click on macros. Let's see how close we are. 
So my carbohydrates could be could do with going up a little bit. Protein slightly over. Fat is slightly over. Okay, but that will do because um, the main thing is that we've not gone over our calories. Okay, um, the f for the following day we know that we could just lift our carbohydrates up a little bit and lower our fats. So that's how you use my fitness pal. Okay, what I would want you to do is if you're going to use the my fitness pal me method. Okay, we'll just go back. Is where's it gone to nutrition? Sorry, should have stayed on there. Nutrition. I would want you to take a screenshot of the macros each day and then go on to calories and take a screenshot of that and then upload both of those into your into the Facebook group just so I can see that you've hit your calories and in, you, you're pretty much hitting your macro splits for the day. And that's pretty much how to use the MyFitnessPal app. So you've got two options. You can either use the sheets that I gave you. I'll just quickly remind you what they look like. So you can either use this system or you can use my fitness pal which I've just shown you how to use okay um, if you want a little bit more variety use the my, my fitness pal myself I would use the other system but it's totally up to you but the main thing is you need to be posting your meals or your screenshots up into the Facebook group uh, so I can see that you understand the nutrition and you're doing it right. Okay, so with that being said, that's everything for, for this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one.